Hey yo, what's up everybody? How are you doing? This is Bayo Adio. I am a Nigerian American vlogger that currently vlogs about Lagos, Nigeria right now. So I am going through something interesting with this vlog. Essentially what's happening is that I am rediscovering Nigeria as an adult. So I know some of you guys that whether you used to live in Nigeria when you were younger and then you left um, or if you're just interested in Nigeria, you'll be familiar with what the way of life is like now. So one of the things that I wanted to highlight today is the public transportation system in Lagos, Nigeria specifically. So, I don't know if you guys know this, I grew up in Lagos, Nigeria, in the Dokbemo Agege area. So me and my sister and my brother, we caught public transportation to school all the time. And we usually catch the Danfo, and I've occasionally caught the Molues with my uncle. So the Molues is like the big bus that gets like jam-packed with people, that has all this fog and smoke, and it's just like, it's really, really cheap, and people use it to kind of get around. And then there's these small mini buses that are yellow. You see them all over Lagos. We call them Danfo. Um, this is what I call a lot growing up. And each bus stops, they'll yell out the names of where it's going, like CMS, 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 or like Oshodi, 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 and Agege, Agege, Agege. And then that's how you know where you're going. They try to get you to come in, and you come in. And then what me and my brother and sisters used to do, we used to laugh, and then we paid by seat. And again, this was very, very, very like cheap way to like transport ourselves but fast forward me coming back now a lot of those things haven't changed i haven't seen the molue yet but i heard that it's in different parts in lagos nigeria but the danfos are still very prominent but what's brand new to me is this brt system um, which means bus rapid transit it's like a big bus um, that they introduced i'm not sure when but I think, I don't know, years and years ago. The idea of introducing this is to like reduce traffic congestion in Lagos, as you guys all know, but also to provide like a cheaper way for people to commute to like the major districts where people work. Um, so it was very affordable. And it also has like AC amenities and individual seating for each people. Um, that's my like first impression of it. So, um, I went to go visit my parents and I was like, you know what, I just want to hang out with you guys for today. And they live on the mainland, so I went to the mainland and then we decided that we're going to take this BRT bus to Ikeja and just walk around and just kind of enjoy, have conversations, just kind of hang around Lagos. So this video specifically is about me going to experience the BRT bus and also me now trying to figure out how to catch the bus from the mainland to the island by myself. Um, so that's what this video is about and you guys are gonna enjoy the journey of me trying to maneuver going through public transportation as an adult in Nigeria that hasn't been in Nigeria in a while. Um, the last time I came to Nigeria this time, I typically used boat or Uber and that's how I got around everywhere. Um, but now I'm trying to do more integration into the way of living in Lagos, Nigeria. And this BRT public transportation is just one way of it. That's my dad. <laughs> okay. yeah. so, and that's my mom. That's why I'm like. Hello. <laughs> so we're going to go get on the bus. So I think we're going to walk to the bus stop and then catch the bus. It's called BRT. All right, guys, so we catch those little Marwa buses and uh, they brought us to the bus stop and the BRT that we're going to go catch is over there. So I am going to catch our bird. Uh, so I am now at the BRT bus stop getting ready to catch that bus to go to Ikeja. As you guys can see, it's very crowded here. Very rowdy, lots of buses. You know, it's such a busy, busy, lots of stuff going on. You guys can see my background. Ah, 
Ah, this is the mainland. This is what it feels like. I think my parents are buying the tickets over there. Actually, maybe they're just socializing. Oh, that's the person they're buying the ticket from right there. You actually have to buy a card for 400 Naira, and then you put the money in the card, and then the card is what you're going to use to get into the bus. So that's pretty much how that works. And she is uh, putting... That, look, that's what the card looks like right there you have to buy the card the card is 400 naira which is almost a dollar but it doesn't come with any credit for the bus and then it used to be 200 naira now it's 400 naira and then you have to load money in the card and then that card is what you're going to use to get into the bus so yeah so that's what we are getting sorted out over there <laughs> so that's the card. My mom has her card. <laughs> Lagos State Travel Card. I can load it anytime. <laughs> right now we are going to Ikeja. Yes. So how much is it to go from here to Ikeja, man? I think it's um, 250. Uh, 250. Oh, okay. 150. Okay, 150. That's good. is what you use to request that you want to stop. Now arrived at the bus terminal. <laughs> so you can see everybody using their cards to check out there. in the Keja. Hey, that's Mortal Kombat too. I remember that logo. That's a movie theater.
Okay, now let me tell you guys what's unique about this BRT bus system. Um, the number one thing that's unique with it is that it has its own dedicated lane in some of the routes that you use to go to different places. So that means it's this can so if there's traffic around the area, the bus has their own lane and it can get people to their destination faster. I did notice though that the dedicated lane was not throughout Lagos. I think they probably designed it for like the main like highways or the main places that get congested. Um, that comes with its own challenges because again, this is Lagos, Nigeria. I do see other cars now going in their lane. I see people, cart pushers, traders. So I think they're trying to figure out how to overcome that. So that's unique. Um, one thing that was unique, which I think is relatively new, is that you cannot purchase a card that you can load up how much you want to put onto it. I think they call it the Kauri card. Um, so I thought I was going to pay cash when I went, but when I was in Ojodubega, they said, no, they're using a card system now. So we bought the card for like, I think 400 or 600 Naira, which is a one-time payment. And then we had to load up the card with the amount. So that's unique in Nigeria in terms of like technology and convenience. And then when you wanted to board the bus, you use the card to scan a scanner and then you can go in through this, this gate. And then to exit, you use the card to exit as well. Another thing that's unique is that you can identify where you want to stop in this bus. They have a button that's P, so you can use that to alert the driver that you're ready to stop at the bus stop where you're going to. Um, another thing that's unique, at least from when I grew up, is that in this bus, there was not standing room. So like when I was growing up in this mode, they jam-packed their standing room, their sitting room. Um, this bus, everybody has their own individual seating. Um, which I think was very great. So then the, the experience was very, very comfortable. It was almost felt luxurious. It had AC, it had individual seating, and it had a port that you can use to charge your phone like a USB port. So a lot of good things about it. As you guys will see in the video, in some, they have a dedicated bus terminals in some places. Like I think there's one in Ikeja. Maybe there's one in Aja, I'm not sure. I haven't been to the one in Aja. And then there's the beautiful one in Oshodi that looks like a, an amazing spaceship. <laughs> um, so I think that's unique because now you can go to a bus terminal, catch where you want. And the destination where the bus is heading towards, instead of people yelling where to go, it's now in the front of the bus. Um, I heard that. Um, so anyways, that is kind of like my um, unique things that I saw about the... Uh, BRT. I think the customer service was great. The people taking the money before you get in, the people giving you the ticket, and the driver. I think they were very attentive. They were great. They were easy to ask questions with. So I think you don't have a lot of anxiety with the BRT system. It's much more as you do with the Danfos. Cost-wise, um, so when I catch the Uber to the mainland, which is very, well, it's expensive, it costs me anywhere from 3,500 Naira, depending on surge and traffic and what's going on, up to like 6,000 Naira. So to give you guys that kind of conversion in dollars, that's like anywhere from like six, seven dollars to like 13 dollars. But the BRT is way cheaper. It's almost equivalent to even the downfall prices. The trip from the mainland to the island cost me 500 Naira, not even that, maybe like 400 Naira, 450 Naira, and that is equivalent to one dollar. So it's literally like almost 10 times or more cheaper than catching a boat, which, I'm, which I use. So now I'm actually going to consider catching the BRT back and forth to the mainland and the island. I really like to live like a local, I like to integrate with the society. With the society. So I think this was such a good experience for me to just feel like a, like a local Nigerian that has been living here for a long time. Honestly, I liked it. I can't think of what can be improved at the moment. I think the fact that the Danfos and the BRTs are coexisting is a good thing because for me, I feel like one thing that sets Lagos, Nigeria apart is the yellow Danfos. And I don't want that to ever go away because it's such a unique 
symbol of Lagos, Nigeria, and I love it. So, anyways, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, enjoyed my journey throughout me trying to figure out how to come back from the mainland to the island. It was an adventure. There was a lot of ups and downs, twists and turns that I'm not going to share. So I want you guys to watch the video to find that out. All right, guys, I am nervous. So my parents had an idea. They wanted me to catch the bus by myself from uh, where I'm at now, which is the here, to go all the way back to Lekki. So I'm gonna catch a bus from here to Obalende and then from Obalende to Lekki. But I know my place is off of Lekki Expressway, so I just have to figure out where exactly I need to stop to come off of the bus, then to be able to then walk home. Ah, it's gonna be an adventure. So you guys come with me on a journey and hopefully it's smooth. That's the bus that I'm catching right there. Okay, we'll top it up. All right, I am on. So I will update you guys once I get to a bad new paper stop to see how. That's where I just got off the BRT from. Why don't we just enjoy this view for a little bit? <sighs> okay, so I'm going to the other side to go catch my bus. So that's what's uh, going on. So you guys come with me? Okay, I literally have no clue what to do now. Oh, but I think I see buses over there. Okay, I think I see them. I think those big buses over there is what I might have to go get. Woo, check out this traffic, people. Found it. That one is going to a Jack Jack on there too. Hmm. Okay, so. I found a BRT that I'm gonna catch now, finally. But now they said they, they don't use the card system that I just paid for over there. That they only take cash, because they haven't upgraded it on this bus yet. So now I have to figure out how to go get 300 naira. I do have 1,000 naira cash with me, but I think I need to change it because they don't have change. So there's two choices. You can catch the little one or the big one, but I'm catching the big one. <laughs> It has AC. This is the last bus from this station for today. Woo! So I was able to make it. What an adventure. <laughs> when the other bus left, I thought I was going to be stuck, but I was able to get on this one. Oh, I was just going to get on the other damn phone. But anyways, this is my adventure for the day. So now, the challenge is for me to figure out which bus stop is close to my estate. Okay, so the driver just walked past me and I just asked him <laughs> that this is kind of the area where I'm going. What's the closest bus stop to it? Sometimes I try to think my accent to be a Niger accent, but it doesn't even work. <laughs> so I just have to go back to regular way of speaking English. But I told him to let me know once we get to the bus stop area, which is around the Katla. So hopefully you will announce it once we get close by. Alright? Proceeding with the adventure of today. I'm pretty much catching public transportation from the mainland to the island today. Instead of catching the boat and the river. <laughs> Oh, 
I am finally on the island. You guys see a difference on the streets of the island versus mainland? But anyways, so I think I'm more familiar with this street. I'm on Lekki Expe Ekbe Expressway, by the way. And this was the bus stop that I was dropped off at. So, I think that I, I see that big white building over there. And I think my estate is close to that area. So I'm just gonna walk down the streets. Duh, you know what? I'm gonna use my Google map to get me home. <laughs> Woo! I made it. So excited. Do you guys know how much money this is going to save me? Woohoo! I see my streets, guys. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm trying to pay attention to landmarks. So, like, I know there's a store, I know that there's this event center, I know that there's a mall, I know that there's a car dealership, I know there's a restaurant. So, those landmarks always kind of help me navigate to kind of recognize where I'm at or where I'm going. So yeah, that's exciting. <sighs> you know when you have a challenge and you overcome it? It's so cool. Fear sometimes can be very limiting. Um, so all it is was just a fear. So I just took it, I just took it on. I was like, you know what? Worst case scenario, I'm gonna find a boat and get home. But I need to learn how to take public transportation. Because what I want to do really is truly live like a local would live here. For the most part <laughs> um, or just knowing how to do certain things if i have to i think that's what it is because part of being adaptable is being able to thrive in whatever situation or circumstance that you're in so this was another step in that direction <sighs> there's a lot of traffic on this lucky Akbar express here. that's the event center i was talking to you guys about i knew that if the bus stop gets close to that area that I, I know that I'm close to home <sighs> you guys enjoy the Lekki Akbe expressway traffic all right on my way home it looks like some people are playing soccer here or something what's going on here like a little soccer league at night. So that's what's going on, is that. I am just excited that I finally am able to get back home. Alright guys, I am almost home. I hope that you enjoyed my adventure. If you enjoy videos like this and some other videos about Lagos, Nigeria, make sure to like this video and make sure to hit the subscribe button. Uh, check out my playlist called Life in Lagos and also consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you and I'll see you later. Remember to rise and let your light shine. Peace!